Welcome dear all in my YouTube channel Alexis Projects. Myself Professor Mohan Shaka and today we will see a new hardware setup. Title name is IoT based multiple solar panel monitoring system with fault detection. So hardware model is as available on your screen as you can see. And uh, here is uh, solar panels connected. Okay, so we will see each and every component one by one. So first we will see here is the main switch. The yeah, main switch is used to turn on and off the entire system. As you can see, it is a toggle toggle switch of 3 ampere. We can see here uh, we are using one uh, temperature sensor to measure the temperature available on the solar panel. So we will use this uh, DS18B20 uh, most accurate uh, temperature sensor to measure the temperature of solar panels. Uh, next component uh, we can see here, uh, here uh, we are using two sensors okay both are the same okay with different addresses i to see addresses and uh, both of the sensor uh, is capable to measure current and voltages at a higher accuracy possible okay it is actually a ina219 uh, current and voltage sensor uh, using this sensor we will measure uh, the uh, power or voltage or watts of both of the uh, solar panels uh, we can also remove it as you can see okay both of the sensors are removable to for a study purpose We are using one node MCU uh, development board. Uh, it is responsible to handle entire operation like running, uh, taking the data from sensor, sending that command to LTD, and uh, checking the fault condition. Uh, each and everything is responsible to handle this uh, ESP 30, uh, 8 to 6, 6 uh, development board. Uh, we can also remove it and can place it easily for a study purpose or for maintenance purpose. Uh, next component we can see here uh, we are using uh, one. Uh, uh, LCD uh, liquid crystal LCD it is actually a 20 cross 4 LCD display and it is, it is responsible to show entire uh, parameters like fault uh, is available or not uh, what is the voltage current rating for both of the solar panels so this LCD is responsible uh, next uh, we can see here uh, we are using uh, OC switch uh, to create artificial open circuit fault to test our system so we are using these two, two toggle switches this one is for a solar panel one and this this is for solar panel solar panel S2 okay by using this switch we can uh, create artificial open circuit fault for testing purpose and uh, next uh, components uh, uh, it is actually uh, 15 mm large size uh, push buttons and uh, this switch is, uh, is implemented here to create artificial short circuit fault to check our system so as you can see uh, it is for uh, to create artificial uh, short circuit fault for a solar panel one and it's same for a solar panel two and same and same we can see uh, we, we, we can see we are using uh, two load loads here to, to see check either the solar panel is providing any kind of power or not to, to see this uh, thing uh, we are using two load leds here five watts of uh, load led and uh, uh, we can see here uh, we are using uh, three solar panels here in, uh, in, in which one of these is uh, red one okay it is actually a constant 5 volt uh, solar panel okay and it is used to pro provide uh, remember it is used to this uh, red panel is only responsible to provide power to this monitoring system okay not for the load remember not for the load only for this monitoring system and next we can see we are using one solar panel here okay it is uh, and uh, second solar panel is here okay both are same rating and same voltages and same current okay so we can see and it is connected through these uh, nut connectors okay we are considering uh, solar panel 1 as a string 1 and solar panel 2 as a string 2 okay we can also connect multiple solar panels on the same wire in parallel okay but uh, two per solar panels we are using here for demonstration purpose only after doing all the arrangements, uh, now time to visit uh, IoT server. For this, we will search uh, Blink uh, IoT on uh, Chrome browser, or uh, we can use any kind of browser. Okay, just after uh, entering Blink, uh, click on Enter. Uh, page is opening, and here is our uh, uh, website for uh, the IoT data monitoring. So we will click on it. Okay, so you can see our website is has uh, we have visited to the website and now we will log in okay remember we need to log in here to see our data because uh, every product has a different uh, unique IP address okay we have actually we have already logged in here okay so it is uh, automatically detected uh, our account okay and uh, here is our uh, main 
monitoring panel so I have clicked on it and we will use full screen mode okay and we can see there is no any kind of data but we will see it when project will start okay so here is our main monitoring setup as this model is uh, IoT enabled so for this purpose we will need to provide a uh, Wi-Fi connection for this we will use mobile hotspot okay so first we will turn on the hotspot then we need to uh, change the hotspot configuration so as you can see uh, you need to enter uh, the hotspot configuration which is provided by you from us and you can enter and after uh, writing the Wi-Fi name and password you can save the settings and can turn on the hotspot settings so as we have entered all the things and hotspot is uh, turning on with new settings and after turning uh, on uh, your device connected devices will show here in connected devices list so everyone we have done all the arrangements to, to for testing the system so as you can see solar panels are placed uh, inside the uh, uh, sunlight okay and uh, here is our laptop for uh, uh, so watching the iot data on live on server so you can see here is our web page Okay, and here is our setup okay so let's uh, turn on the setup by using the main switch so as you can see system is turning on okay uh, project name is appearing then we can see uh, we will see parameters okay so as you can see uh, current is showing zero and zero because it is actually currently open circuited okay you can see okay open circuit s1 open circuit s2 because switches are off load is off means it is open circuited that's why current is zero and here is the voltage for a uh, solar panel one and here is the voltage for solar panel two okay so and you can see here is the temperature temperature of the solar panel so you can see here is the sensor of temperature sensor placed okay and uh, uh, you can see it is showing currently uh, open circuit fault s1 open circuit fault s2 you can see at the same time on server we can see live Okay, so let's refresh the page. So then it will. Uh... Okay, so actually, laptop was not connected to the Wi-Fi, so you can see uh, our system is recorded, and we can see there is a live data. Okay, see, so we can see it is showing green color means it is open circuit fault S1, and on the same time open circuit fault S2. Okay, it is colored means uh, there is a fault, and if it, it, there is no color. It means there is no such kind of fault. We can also see uh, uh, it is actually showing the voltage of V2 uh, 10.04, and we can see at the same time voltage V2 is 10.03 or 04 exactly same, and uh, voltage V1 is 9.69, and uh, we can see live on live server. See, it is a voltage V1 9.62 exactly same, and here is the graph. You can see voltage graph, and here is the voltage V2 graph. Okay, so it means it is working fine current is 0 and current is 0 okay at the same time you can see i1 is 0 and i2 is 0 you can see on the graph also so let's turn on the load by using the main switch then we will see either uh, it is showing uh, see you can see it is cleared now now not showing uh, open circuit fault for s2 it is section for s2 now so you can see there is no any kind of fault not open circuit fault and not short circuit fault at the same time we can see on the server see it is showing there is no any fault on s2 okay now we will recover uh, string s1 okay so you can see there is no fault on string s1 as well okay there is no any kind of fault because uh, and you can see it current is showing and current is showing on the loads you can see LEDs are running okay it is for a solar panel 1 and it is for solar panel 2 we can see there is no color means there is no any kind of fault on the server at the same time it is showing okay, and temperature is 36 you can see temperature is 35.94 you can see 35.94 exactly same okay and i can also see the graph of temperature here okay it is a graph of temperature okay now we will test a uh, uh, short circuit fault so by for for testing purpose we will use push this button to do for short circuit fault okay so we will press it okay i will need to clear the solar panels first 
So again, we will test it. So let's uh, to test uh, short circuit fault on string one. So uh, this button is intended to test the short circuit fault on string one. So we will press it and see what happens. So I am going to press it. So you can see LED has turned off. Okay, you can see here LED has turned off because of the short circuit, and you can see it is showing HCF S1. Uh, means so it is showing short circuit fault on string S1. Okay, and at the same time you can see on server I am moving up the panel. So you can see here. Okay, HCF S1 means color, color uh, pink color means there is a fault, short circuit fault. Okay, I am gonna release the button. Here you can see I am gonna release the button, and now we will see. See, there is no color now. Okay, there is no color means so fault has resolved. At the same time, you can see all in HD. Fault has resolved. Okay, so it means working fine. And we can also see temperature is live 32 degree. Okay, here on 32.31, you can see the graph. Okay, uh, now we will test a uh, uh, short circuit fault H2. So let's uh, test a uh, short circuit fault for H2. So we can see. This is the switch to intent for short circuit fault, so we will press it. Okay, you can see there is no any kind of fault now. Okay, now I am gonna press it. So you can see on LCD. So it is showing on LCD, string short circuit fault on S2. Clearly see on LCD and I can also see voltage drop on LV2 AC here 0.29 and current has increased. Okay, as you know when a short circuit fault occurs, voltage drop occurs and current increases rapidly, and you can see all dive server in here live. Okay, showing uh, SCF fault S2. Okay, I am gonna release the button. You can see. See, now it is not showing any kind of short circuit fault. Fault has resolved. At the same time, you can see. Okay, fault has resolved. And again, we will see some uh, interesting things here. Uh, as uh, you know, when uh, we do short circuit fault, voltage drop occurs. So you can see here. Okay, voltage drop occurs. Okay, current voltage is three voltages. Okay, you can see here is the down for uh, zero voltage. Okay, so it means our system is working fine. Current is 21 milliampere for uh, I2, and I2 is here 21 milliampere, and I2 is so 174. Okay, 174. Okay, so it means our per Project is working so fine. You can see solar panels are inside the sunlight. Okay, correcting it. See here, uh, we will see a uh, concert on this LED. Okay, so if uh, we it is responsible to handle uh, uh, load S1, so you can see concert on this LED. LED. See, LED is turned on. Look at this LED. Okay, see. And I place it inside sunlight so you can see the intensity ability. And uh, I'm gonna make it uh, dark. See, LED and light intensity. Okay, it is for resting S1 and it is for resting S2. You can see. Then I will uh, put it back. You can see. There is no light on LED. See. Okay, so it is means it is for resting S2. So thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, if any student want to buy this model, please uh, contact us uh, through video description. And uh, thank you so much for watching the video.